Hello and welcome back to uh, another video. It's my first video for quite some time now. Uh, since, well, I mean, not my first video for quite some time, but it's my first video with me on it and me talking on it for a while anyway. So, what have I got new for you? Well, i am obviously been working on some things behind the scenes to try and make things a little bit better. So, you know, we're getting there slowly but surely, inch by inch, day by day. Um, but obviously, you know, life has to take charge some of the time most of the time above the games so in this particular situation um or rather my particular situation i've kind of jeweled things around a little bit um and i'm gonna kind of do like a monthly video of stuff you know as opposed to you know i mean i'll, I'll continue to upload just gameplay footage of games um that, that i've got um but i think this is a really good way of starting things off so um, what can you expect? Well, let's just get on with it, shall we? This is the first one of my, what I like to call my um, Eastern Room 101s. Um, and I've choose the four games that I've been playing in the previous month. And, and But there's, there's extra stuff as well, you know, there's more stuff after that. Of other games I've been playing, some tips, um, potentially some pickups. I mean, I'm, I, 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 I have done a pickup video before. I don't generally like to do that. I've said that before, but I can combine everything really. So um, let's just get into it, shall we? So the we're just going to go straight off into the four games that I've chosen. You'll probably be able to guess what they are because they're on the thumbnail. Um, and then from there, we will move on to the next part, which will be, you'll have to find out. Stay tuned. That's right, kicking off with the first game of four of my Evesham Room 101. Uh, my first pick is, is Uno on the Xbox 360. Now, those of you that remember, should remember that this game, and still I think remains, one of the most, or if not the most X-rated game on the Xbox 360. Why, why is that? Why does a simple card game that's been translated to a digital car game, why would it be the most X-rated game out there on the Xbox 360? Well, it probably isn't so much now because the multiplayer is pretty much dead these days. Um, Uno, well, back in the day, so let's talk, let's say around about 2007, 2008, a little bit after that as well. Um, well, yeah, what can I say? Uh, if you like dicks, then you'd see plenty of them on the fucking cameras, let's put it that way. <laughs> so, um, yes, back in the day, let me, let me just read something out to you, actually, that, that, that kind of, that really just encompasses what it was like at that time. And it's from a Reddit user, actually, and it says, I saw Spider-Man, Optimus Prime, and a bunch of dicks beating off together, all in one card game, uh, where nobody was playing any cards. Also, a lot of cocaine using Russians, sometimes with rather attractive women in various states of undress, but mostly dicks. A few times I even played Uno, wild. These days you'll get a ban for telling someone to fuck off in a private message. It's true. I mean, I tell you what, I used to see so many weird shit on there. Um, and there's still some really funny stuff that's on YouTube. If you look up Xbox 360 Uno funny, there's one where some two people start, they're in the game and they're on their cameras and they're just doing basically uh, this dance to the Beach Boys song. Um, but there's some real funny stuff on there. Um, people used to just go on there trolling. There was drug deals going on. Oh, man, if you ever played this back in the day, you'd know what I'm talking about. But, uh, yeah. And then what you're seeing right here is the Street Fighter pack uh, for Uno, Street Fighter 2, with all little sounds and little, you know, crossovers, all the Super... Sorry, the Super Street Fighter 2 Terror HD Remix pack. Um... And unfortunately, I'm going to take a load of cards, so I'm screwed in this one. So, uh, but yeah, this is one I've been playing this week. And just to show you, to make a point, um, let's go to multiplayer. You watch, there'll be someone in a ranked match now. I guarantee it now that I'm doing it. Oh, as you can see, look, there's nobody there. And it used to always have people waiting there. Um, and just to see. Even on there as well, there's nobody either. So, 
Anyway, uh, moving swiftly on. Oh my god. Oh, well, I mean, th th this is one that I didn't think I would be playing again for quite some time. This is Descent 2. That's right, Descent 2. Do you remember that? I mean, I remember playing it on Windows, I'm pretty sure it was Windows 98. Uh, back in 1998, ironically. Um, in fact, the story goes, with my dad used to play. It was one of the few games that he would actually play. Um, it had his big old joystick and the keyboard. Now, this is available on Steam. Um, and currently, I think at the moment, it's on sale for about five pounds. Well worth picking up. However, I, w I must say, it does work with an Xbox pad, but it, it don't work perfectly. And I, I, you're gonna have to go back to basics and use a keyboard and a joystick if you've got one, because I found it very difficult to play, as you can maybe see in this video. Um, Descent 2 was always a good game, and there is, I believe, there is a fan-made remaster out there that's free as well. So if you get the chance to pick that up, do so. If I remember, I'll put it in a link in the description as well, so you can go and get it yourself and have a go. But um, I've been playing this this week, haven't been getting very far, but I've been loving, loving the trip down memory lane on it. Um, I might actually have to pick up a physical copy, I can find one, I'm sure if you're on eBay somewhere. Um, but I've been having a great time with this um, and if you get say, if you get a chance to play it, have a go yourself because it is a great game. You just need to get used to the controls and how you can spin around 360 degrees everywhere. Uh, it can get quite disorientating but have a look online, watch some videos of it, you'll see what I mean. So let's move on to the, um, the final game that I've been playing this week. Um, and then it's, another, it's another one on Steam. So next up we have Cuphead, and not just Cuphead, but Cuphead, the delicious last course. And I actually like what they've done there, which was delicious last course, DLC. Yeah, I like that too. It didn't take me long to work that one out, but I, I, and I'm sure a lot of people did, but I'm sure a lot of people didn't know that. But what, what can be said about, about Cuphead, other than the fact that it's one of the hardest games you will ever play. And you will be absolutely gutted to find that when you've completed it on the simple, or I think it's simple, is it simple? Or regular? Anyway, we just put it here anyway. It's another thing there, you don't really kind of, you can't finish the game because you have to do it on regular. And that's fucking, some of it is so hard, but it's really so rewarding. And, you know, I love Cuphead. I think the DLC is fantastic. I think it's great for new people coming along to it. Um, I find it, Really strange though that the, the Cuphead came out in 2014 uh, and the DLC was announced I think late 2017 or some or early point 2018. No, I think it was earlier than that because I remember it before I went on this long holiday. Um, but here we are, it's just been released. If you get a chance to pick it up, if you haven't already got Cuphead, pick it up, do because it's brilliant. Uh, Miss Chalice or whatever her name is, um, she's brilliant. Um, and just to let some of you know, if you didn't know this already, uh, in order to play as Miss Chalice, you've got to select the uh, cookie, I think it's a cookie, um, as your, I call it a perk, it's a charm. That's it, I was about to say perk, it's a charm. Um, Cuphead, pick it up if you can, that's what I've been playing this week, and I'm really enjoying the DLC. What's next? So, here we are again with, um, you know, it's, well, it's Zool, what more can be said? Except it's Zool redimensioned. Uh, this came out, I believe, in 2021, um, and you can play it in sort of like, so basically the Mega Drive version, and you can play the uh, the new redimensioned version. Now, as you can see here, I actually do have the cheats on, and you can enable them straight off the bat in the options, invincibility and double jump. But it ain't just any double jump. It's like a, you can constantly jump and jump, 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 and con basically you could float, somewhat float through the entire level without touching the ground. Now, obviously, uh, when Zool came out back in the days on the Amiga and the Atari ST and things like that, and Mega Drive, Master System, etc., etc., um, it was effectively sponsored by. Now, pe to people have different ways of saying this: Chopper Chups or Chupa Chups. They're just bucking lollipops. It don't matter. But I've been having a lot of fun with with Zool redimensioned. Um, I just forgot it was on my Steam account. Um, I actually forgot I even had a Steam account because only because I had an email about something I was like, oh shit, yeah, 
So obviously, as I just mentioned a minute ago, um, or mentioned Descent 2, I was like, oh, I better buy myself a game then. So I'm starting to kind of move a little bit towards the PC side of stuff now. Um, but I will never give up on all, my, on all my games that I've been playing. So those are the four games that I've been playing this week. Um, other ones don't really need to have so much of a mention because, you know, they're just there. But, um, but obviously there is a lot of other stuff as well, um, of which I will talk about at another point. So Zorri Dimension, pick it up if you can. It's, uh, it's definitely the same as it used to be, um, but still, still very enjoyable. So this is the second segment, as it were, uh, of my videos. I will figure out a way of putting things in between them, um, you know, a little bit more ap appealing and appetizing, I think would be the right words for it. Um, but this is, uh, this is actually going to be the all three of the Atari Flashback Classics, so volumes one to three. Um, and you know what? I think I highly recommend you pick them up. But I'm not going to go into that right now at all. I'm, what I'm going to do is have a go on a couple of quick games on each one, have a little quick flick through. won't take too long, get an idea of what's there then. Uh, and then I'm going to discuss with you, or I'm going to tell you, a few things about these collections uh, and why you should pick them up. And uh, a little, probably a little nugget that you didn't know about. I very much doubt that you would know this. So I'll keep you salivating on that note. I will just shut up and get on with the games um, and we'll discuss it at the end of volume three. Stay watching.
So there you have it. The all three some bits and bobs there of uh, the Atari Flashback Classics Volumes One to Three. Do not do excuse me for one moment whilst I have a little chug on this caramel macchiato by Starbucks. Um, am I doing that kind of sponsorship thing here from Wayne's World? I don't know. You figure it out. <laughs> Clearly not. Anyway, oh no, I need a little drink. Mm. So, what is it to be said about this trilogy? Well, first and foremost, as I said before, as it started, you can pick these up quite cheaply. Especially, uh, I say quite cheaply, the second one seems to be, I mean, it's like 10 or 15 quid, I think, even second hand, something like that, maybe 8 quid. And the first one's a bit cheaper. Um, <sighs> but... Oh, I say the but we'll get to the button in a minute. So you get like about 50 games on each one. There's nothing special about them, you know, all this complete in box stuff and all that. Um, it's just a good little collection of 50 Atari games. Um, and now what I find obviously, you know, and I'll come on to that in a minute, a little bit of recent news about Atari. Um, yeah, so you know, there's 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 three here. You're probably thinking, well, if you know anything about these, basically. You'll be one that may be already thinking, why have I got three here? Now, if you're a PlayStation fan, this isn't, or at least, uh, you know, you've got these on PlayStation. That isn't a problem at all. Um, but, okay, um, I just want to get to this now. I think it's probably probably the, the most important part. I mean, but I'm not. I'm just going to hold back. Just hold back for a second and get on to this one in a minute. Okay, so you can pick these up pretty damn cheap. Um, and I highly recommend you get them if you can. You know, there's there's um there's some really really difficult achievements on these uh, trophies as well. If you so desire, and that's your kind of thing. Um, it is mine, but I'm just not very good at some of these old games. So the chances of me actually getting uh, all of the trophies on these not going to happen. So um, although I must admit I've stepped back a bit from trophy hunting now. It's all achievement hunting. It'll always be part of my blood being. Obviously, part from the beginning of the or being part of the 360 revolution. Um, so, yeah, so you can pick these ones up very cheaply. And I highly recommend you get them. But you will have great difficulty, great difficulty getting this one. And I, it's just because I, I've always wanted the volume three. Uh, and when it was announced, I, you know, I couldn't, we couldn't find it for love nor money in the UK. You just cannot buy it. It is not available in PAL regions. You can't buy it. Um, and that's what makes it quite expensive. Now, um, and this is for the Xbox One, mind you. The PlayStation 4, or PlayStation, yeah, PlayStation 4 version, it can be picked up even on Amazon. But this one, you cannot get. You cannot get it because it is, uh, I say it's NTSC. It is, it's in, it's America only. It's not, it's not in the power regions. Um, but because the Xbox One is region free, it will play on your Xbox. Great you think i might have to pick that up then i didn't know that yeah well here comes the problem okay so the problem is is that this goes for a ridiculous price but you know it doesn't come up very often second hand i can tell you that much and then when it does it costs a lot of money now currently on ebay i've seen this going for and i have done quite since it came out which i think these were 2017 something like that uh let's have a look here it should say it on the box somewhere 2018 i think um, you might be able to see on these two, if you can look closely, uh, you see the USK on there, yeah? These aren't actually, these aren't UK ones. These these are, I think these are German, but they're all in English anyway, so it, it doesn't matter. But I, I believe these are German or the French, actually. I think these might be French. But either way, um, back to the volume three. So as you can see, this is actually a genuine copy. Right, I'm not. I'm not joking. Um, if you want this on eBay, you will be looking at paying anywhere upwards of, or up to seventy pounds, and probably no less than fifty, because um, there is an extraordinary amount of postage put onto these from the United States to the UK, on average between twenty and thirty pounds. Now, I got lucky with this one. In fact, I got very lucky with this one. I saw it on there. There was no actual image of it. It said it was used. I thought, well, 
And what did I pay? I paid 30, just short of 30 quid for it. That included, believe it or not, three pounds package and postage from the United States, and it took five days to get here. I was very chuffed with that. Now, the problem, as I say, is if you want, uh, well, sorry, we'll get to the problem in a sec, because we've already been at that a little bit, but the problem is, is that, uh, why am I doing this? I, my, my brain just blanked for a second. The, pro the problem is, is, um, is some people think that, you know, you, well, I don't know on certain things, video games, but if, depending on the price, there will be a uh, customs fee. There was no customs fee on this. Um, so, as I say, if you want this in your collection, you've got to be prepared to spend big on it, unfortunately. And honestly, some people would say, well, you know what? It's available digitally on the Xbox store for fifteen ninety nine, And it has been. It's never been on sale. You watch, give it a week or two now after my, me doing this video, it will be out <laughs> on sale. But that's irrelevant. I don't want it on, I do not want it on digital. I wanted the physical disc. So I have said, I paid just a, just short of 30 pounds for this. And um, I was really surprised when I received it because it was, it was brand new. It hadn't, how they could, I guess they put it as used because part of the cellophane was gone just on the outside. But other than that, it had the original Xbox sticker on here and that it was, it was, for all intents and purposes, brand new, never been used. So I was very chuffed with that. So yeah, so if you do want this, you're going to have to go and spend some big money on it. Check it out if you can, because don't take my word for it. That is the prices it's going for, right? So at the moment, without me grabbing my phone, it's about 50 to 70 pounds. You, you, but I, as I say, I got this at a good price. I think I got this for a good, for a good price and got lucky with it as well. So all in all, the uh, Atari Flashback Collections, volumes one to three, I highly recommend you pick them up. But if you've got a PlayStation, pick them up on that because it's a lot cheaper, um, especially if you want this one. So, um, yeah, what can I say? You know, so, uh, yeah. Um, and that's it for that part of it. Um, the only thing I've got to say on the rest of it really is an extra bunch I mentioned, which was about pickups is I I don't really pick up much anymore. I occasionally pick up bits and bobs, but I, for all intents and purposes, I've got everything I want anyway. So, you know, I don't need to have more. I don't need to keep buying stuff. I certainly don't need to keep buying stuff just because I haven't got it, you know? It's um, it's crazy, because my TV's going dark. Might be able to see just a little bit there. I've got Battlefield 1943 on at the moment, on the Xbox 360. And it's still as popular as ever. There's always, always plenty of people on there. So, yeah, have a go on that if you get a chance. So, yeah, pickups-wise, all I've got really is Sonic the Hedgehog 2 Battle on the GameCube. Obviously, the Flashbacks Collection 3 uh, on the Xbox One. Um, and there's obviously some digital content I've bought. I mean, I haven't really bought anything this last month. I don't, as I say, I don't really buy that much. Sometimes some... It generally comes in big bits. So someone will say, well, I've got this and I'll have that. So, yeah, that's it for pickups. There isn't any more. There's none of this complete in box, complete in box. I mean, for those of you that really must see, it's complete in box. There you go. See, someone just went, oh, oh God. I watched this whole video just for that. No, I mean, I'm taking a piss. I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, so that's it for that. That's it for the pickups. Um, and I guess that just kind of leaves me for my last part of this video. Everything crammed into one nice little package. I think you'll agree. And you're about to find out what that is. Stay tuned. Wait for it. Here it comes. Well, what better way to finish off? What better way to finish off my month's worth of stuff than Sturmfront. Sturmfront the Mutant War. I really enjoyed this. I mean, a little story goes back that when I got this first come out, I got it, but got charged twice. So they gave me a refund, right, uh, for the money, and then they took the access, or well, they got, they took one away, and then they, they took access away from the game. And I was like, oh. so I got the refund for that, and then I just didn't do anything. I didn't do anything with it. And then it came back up the other day on sale. So I was like, why not? And it works absolutely fine. No problems, no being charged twice or anything like that. So, to finish off, 
Here's some gameplay of Sturmfront, The Mutant War on the Xbox Series X. Enjoy it. Until the next one, ciao for now. Absolutely.